Okay, so I just uh, got in uh, Itapetininga and I got this very small road here. It's a back road that goes to uh, São Miguel Arcanjo, Saint Michael Arcanjo, Arcanjo. Yes, and then from this uh, São Miguel Arcanjo city, I go down this uh, park. And this park, as I told you before, it's called Carlos Botelho Park, State Park, I think. Yes, and it's very beautiful, very preserved. A lot of uh, animal, the fauna, flora, everything there. But the thing is that this is a haven also for motorcycle, motor bikers, because it's called the Monkey, the Female Monkey Hill. Yes, it's called. It's called the Female Monkey hill yes Serra da Macaca you see there's uh, some uh, there are some signs with the Serra da Macaca I think it's because not I think I read it's because there are a lot of uh, monkeys in this uh, park don't know if I'm gonna be able to see any maybe today because there aren't so many people it's not a holiday or anything so yeah and then going down there to uh, El Dorado and places like this until we are 116 in Kajachi. Yes, that's where I, I'm gonna stop again to fill up the tank and go straight to Curitiba. And that's it. Okay, <laughs> back road, but it seems like it's a little bit... Uh, the traffic is quite intense and full of obstacles I guess I still have 33 kilometers to get to my first stop my first real stop <laughs> that would be anyway that's it back road to San Miguel Arcanjo from Itapetininga Okay, so I'm uh, about six, six kilometers from São Miguel Barcanjo. The road was really okay. Smooth, full of curves. Yeah, not so much traffic. I think there are some winery around here. I'm not so sure because I saw a little bit behind that there was a place where they were selling wines, but yeah. That's it, São Miguel Arcanjo, it's very close to here. And then I'm gonna fill up the tank and keep going to Serra da Macaca, the female monkey hill. Nice road, smooth. Some tight curves, but, but smooth, yeah. You can always think about coming by car, of course. Not necessarily by motorcycle if you don't ride it. Also, the uh, other objective of this video is to show a little bit of Brazil to my peeps around the world, my friends and uh, people that would like to visit Brazil and are afraid of visiting. I mean, afraid by motorcycle, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So, I guess I can say, yeah, welcome to São Miguel. Arcanjo There you go São Miguel Arcanjo Welcome It was in English Yes I'm gonna fill up the tank in this place here Oof. Okay, so now I'm leaving São Miguel Arcanjo. I have 122 kilometers to El Dorado. I'm going down the hill now uh, through this uh, park. Yeah, and I think it's going to be really cool because the park is beautiful. I think the park must be around uh, some minutes from here. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna have some some pictures there. That's it. 
São Miguel Arcanjo. It was written there, Parque Carlos Botelho. Sete barras, yes, that's that's what I have to go. Near registro, yeah. Caminho dos Romeiros, oh, so here, here it is, like this uh, Pilgrim's Road. Oh yeah, okay, so this is the the road, Neguinho Fogaça. Is that? Yeah, I think I read correctly, hopefully. Okay, so I think this is a place where everybody stops here. Yeah. Shall I stop? Maybe. Just take a look. Take some pictures. Here. Yeah, this place here is highly recommended. This, uh, it's a chicken, uh, a chicken pastry, something like this. And yes, I have put my thing here. My sticker. There's a lot of stickers there. Anyway, we shall go. So I changed the the tires of the of the Vulca, the black, my my Negona. Change the tires. It's new tires. I put this this thing here. I'm taking this with some stuff, and then here too, the new tire on the on the back. And yeah, the two other trunks here are full. So. Yeah, it's quite a lot. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Eleven kilometers to the park. Beautiful and winding road here. Okay, so here we are in front of the the park. There's also a restaurant near here, and the park opens uh, from six in the morning to eight at night. And of course, I think buses and and trucks cannot enter. So here is the park, we have, uh, I think it's 33 kilometers, I'm gonna talk to the guy here probably. Let me see. Bom dia, tudo joia? Não, não conheço. Então, aqui é a rodovia agora, ela vai cortar uma unidade de conservação, o parque estadual Carlos Botelho, tá? Uhum. Aí são 33 quilômetros de serra, com horário de funcionamento das 6 da manhã até as 8 da noite. Ok. E velocidade reduzida a 40 km por hora, tá? Perfeito. O tempo estimado mais ou menos 50 minutos para fazer a travessia. Uma travessia. Aí só tomar cuidado que ela vai ficar um pouco mais estreita e sinuosa, e tem alguns pontos aí que tá em obra. Aí tá. Aí só fica a meia pista, tá? Tá. Da, da, da outra guarita até 7 barras, dá quanto tempo? Quanto quilômetro? Então, Quilômetros. Tá bom. Tá bom. E da BS16 aqui o senhor tá 78 km. Tá. Perfeito. Perfeito. Tá bom? Só isso? Só. Obrigado, viu? Tem vários pontos. Tudo margem na via mesmo. Tá bom. Ah, perfeito. Obrigado. Obrigado. Okay, so here we are in the park. He said that there is a a, a, a a tree that was falling, and then the guys are taking the the trees out already. So what I heard, what I read, is that oh, there is also toilets and stuff. Is that uh, this park here 
of course it's a preservation uh, yeah preserved park and everything preservation area and uh, I heard that they they paved this recently like I think the park was open in 1980 something 82 and then they paved uh, with these blocks here like uh, maybe it was some years ago I don't remember now exactly but I'm gonna put here yeah and they put like more than 10 million blocks of that yeah and wow it's so green and of course yeah there's a lot of uh, pilgrims that walk here he said that there are some uh, waterfalls and uh, uh, in the middle here and some places places for parking let's see if I can park and see some waterfall but it sounds like a very beautiful place nice It's 33 kilometers until the other entrance and 70 kilometers from the BR. Let's see if we can see some monkeys. That's why the name is, yeah, Serra da Macaca, or Monkey Female, Monkey Hill. Some birds. What is this? Uh, yeah, just uh, maybe some, yeah, some space for you to sit down. Maybe, maybe for a picnic. Yeah, picnic. <laughs> nice. There are a lot of cars coming back there, but I don't care because I am enjoying. Carlos Botelho is a guy. It's uh, actually he's a. Uh, He's from Piracicaba and he used to be a doctor, urologist and uh, he was a politician and uh, yeah, became very important for the country but he, he's not from this, this area here, he's from Piracicaba and the park is in his own yeah, some things are yeah, abandoned yeah. beautiful place there's another parking here yeah there's a lot of stop oh yeah here beautiful private property maybe it's from Carlos Carlos Botelho oh yeah here's a um, uh, natural heritage site from UNESCO yeah Okay, so here we are in the middle of the park, yeah, that's it, Serra da Macaca, I don't know if I have a, if there's a space for me to put my, my sticker here, but I'm gonna put, of course, there you go, Serra da Macaca, Estrada Park, Park Road. Okay, leaving now, just put the travel bug feeling sticker here, and now let's do it, let's go. Good, there aren't so many people today here in this park, so... 
I can take pictures very easily with the motorcycle and the, and the signs. Here we have this big obstacle which is made because of the there's a passage over sorry there's a passage uh, below it under it so the animals don't don't get uh, run over by cars yes so yeah all for preservation and they, all, they also have some stuff on the on the also for the monkeys above because what they have here is like quatties and monkeys and yeah um, it might have other kind of animals like like small uh, wild cats and stuff uh, and this one's here look yeah nice road it doesn't look like it's very very slippery because of the these blocks here that they put but yeah yeah go slowly because you never know my tire is not this kind of tire look how nice it is Ooh. unfortunately I didn't see any animal I would like to show them to my daughters but yeah there are squirrels there are even squirrels can you believe it another one that's very good it's a little bit uh, colder here even if it's hot here is like what four four or five degrees colder because of the the forest it's a dense uh, forest beautiful river is the name of this river maybe this is the construction that the guy said in the beginning okay so yes there was a tree I, I wasn't uh, recording at the time but there was a tree uh, half of the tree actually falling down there so yeah so there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of a lot of trails a lot of waterfalls yeah interesting place so you see here yeah it was created in 1982 yes and it's a big area with a lot uh, yeah there's a lot of uh, wildlife here and there's also yeah not near here there's also some caves and stuff called petar very very important here and in 1998 unesco gave the the place here the world heritage site yeah that's great yeah there's also some uh jaguar brazilian jaguars called also pintada and all these things yes yeah 1982 there you go okay so here I include I conclude this okay so did you know that the this park has the biggest population of Muriqui Mono Carvoeiro from Brazil being the biggest uh, primate of America and also endemic in the Atlantic forest that's it done i should park here to drink some water i think okay look how beautiful this stream this creek there's a creek here okay so uh, yeah i finished uh, the female monkey hill now i am heading to a city called Eldorado then Cajati and then I'm gonna enter on the BR 116 but the thing is Rastro da Serpente, the snake trail is also very nice to go from uh, from Capão Bonito to Curitiba or from Itapetininga to Curitiba but this road here is also very cool and very beautiful in the middle of the forest and now that we left the forest we have this road which is very very similar to, to the snake trail you see a lot of curves and yeah so cool you know it doesn't stop you never go straight yeah from the Serra da Macaca to uh, look how beautiful yeah from Serra da Macaca to uh, Registro Remel Dourado, 
7 barras, 7 bars, yeah, there is this road here, which is very very nice, very similar to the, to the snake trail, but beautiful, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, banana tree crops, yeah, uh, some waterfall, some uh, camping, yeah. Really beautiful place here, eh? If I go straight on this road here, I'm going to Registro. I don't want to go to Registro right now, I want to go to Cajati. So I'm going to take another road. And then in Cajati I'm going to stop and, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to eat something or... But I have to send a message to my friends in Curitiba. And see, just a message him saying what's happening, where I am. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get there things like that okay so after this fake snake trail <laughs> I just arrived in Sechi Bajas yes welcome to Sechi Bajas but I don't think I'm gonna get in to this city yeah so I'm heading to a place called El Dorado Um, look how many bananas ah. okay now I'm gonna turn El Dorado 36 kilometers return oh this is more road in the middle of the bananas let's see along the river that river that I just crossed Ooh. Bananas! Look, they put this plastic around the, the, the banana bunch because it ripens faster. Okay, so now I am, it's almost uh, 2 o'clock uh, p.m. I just finished uh, this part here where I came from the um, from the Sada Macaca, the hill, then I went to El Dorado and then all the banana crops and everything and now I just arrived in Jacupiranga. Yeah, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stay a lot here. Just a little bit and I'm going to get the BR 160 116. The one that goes to Curitiba, but I'm gonna stop to fill up the tank, take the road to Curitiba. I think I'm gonna get to Curitiba around 5 o'clock. Yeah, I'm gonna get it here and then I'm gonna stop in Cajati. And then I'm gonna put probably the raincoat. The boring part now. Let's see how much the gasoline is in Kajachi. Be back in a minute. I just entered here in Kajachi. Welcome to Kajachi. Just to find a, a, a gas station, but it's impossible to find one. Oh. Yeah, there is one. Completa gasolina, por favor. So I'm paying six ninety-four. Yeah, okay. I just arrived in Curitiba. Now I'm going to head to my friend's house.
Oi. Me mostra, me mostra. 